Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, A Little Bit of Everything with Erin. I don't know where all you new subscribers are coming from, but thank you so much for joining in. A lot of you have been messaging me on my different social media. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you can look me up here. And you've been really awesome and telling me how great my makeup has been looking and the different looks that I have that you guys are really liking. Um, so I wasn't really sure how to do like a makeup tutorial video, but I thought maybe we'll do a get ready with me episode and see how it goes. And if it's something you guys enjoy, maybe I'll roll that in once a week. So I'm barefaced. I just got out of the shower. I need to get ready for work. So I'm going to start that. So I'm going to start off with some Olay. And this is the Olay Complete. This one has um, moisturizer in it and SPF 15. And it's just really great. I love it. So the great thing about makeup, and I don't think a lot of people say this when they start out doing their tutorials or videos, is that makeup is like art. It's different for everybody and everybody does it different. And no way is wrong. So if I'm doing it a way that you don't do or one of your favorite YouTubers does, it doesn't mean I'm doing it wrong. I'm just doing it the way that I like to do it. And that's perfectly fine you know what I mean so I'm gonna start off with my eyes because that's what I do first so today I'm gonna be taking the wet palette by Brett Man Rock and this is through his collaboration with ColourPop and it has some really really pretty colors all the blues clearly for wet then there's this finish just kind of like um a very light 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 blue you almost say it's white with a tint of blue in it and thickums down here this is a nice silver sparkly color and i think i've seen a lot of videos on instagram with people using this palette because it just came out with his lit palette and people aren't really using these two browns and i think you guys are sleeping on that like these browns with the blues are fantastic like he put these in this palette for a reason and you guys are sleeping on that if you ain't using it so let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with a Morphe holiday brush. It's a big, fat, fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna go into Skinny Legend. I actually need a mirror. I'm gonna be using this mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And I go right above my crease and slightly in my crease with my transition color. I have another brush. And this one is a wet and wild fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into Iwa Beach. And I believe he said that's the beach by his home. I believe, don't quote me on that. And I'm just going to put that right up in my crease and blend it out. I'm going to go back into Skinny Legend. And just do small circles where the two colors meet. Now I'm going to be using some concealer from e.l.f and a flat brush to kind of cut this crease a little bit. And I do this by just putting my concealer just on my hand here. And that just kind of helps me not to have to keep dipping into the bottle. I'm just let that dry. So I'm going to go back into Iwa Beach. And just tap that in on that edge. I grab this Morphe. It's more of a, it's still kind of a fluffy brush, but it's flat. And these don't have numbers like the other ones do, so I don't know what number it is. And I'm going to go into um, Chillin'. Just a really pretty blue. And I'm just gonna pat that on my lid. 
right up to that line we made with the concealer. And right on that edge line, I'm just gonna lightly tap it so that the blue and the brown where they meet, they just nicely blend into each other. I have another flat brush. This one's by Wet n Wild. And we're gonna pick up, LOL, I'm crying. And this is a nice sparkly blue, so pretty. And we're gonna place that right on top of I'm Chillin'. So pretty, so pretty. Finally, we're gonna pick up a eye crease brush, which is great for detailing. This one is by e.l.f. and I'm gonna pick up Thickums, which is just like a nice silver sparkle. And I'm gonna pop that right on the inner corner of my eye and kind of blend that into the blue sparkle. All right, I'm gonna do my other eye, my brows, and I'll be right back. So I'm back, both eyes are done, eyebrows are done, my eyebrows aren't amazing, but I'm still learning, so we'll, you know, move from there. So I am a mom of four, and I don't get a lot of sleep, because I am also the caretaker to my two-year-old, who is a liver transplant patient and is on the transplant list again. So I have heavy bags under my eyes. So I need to color correct those. And I just use ELF's color correcting pencil. And this is in the correct dark circles for light skin tones. And I just kind of pop that under my eyes and just take a brush and blend that in a bit. And I do have some redness in my cheeks. That's kind of annoying. So today I'm gonna to be using um, Wet n Wild Cushion. And this is the color corrector and it's in a very uh, pale green. And I just kind of dab that in on anything that's red. And for my foundation today, I'm gonna to be using Revlon's Color Stay. This is in the shade 220 Natural Beige. It's for combination skin. Um, so yeah, I just take some on my finger and dab it along my face. I don't go heavy on my foundation, but you know, whatever works for you. My beauty blender and I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go setting spray. I'm just going to spray the end of my beauty blender with it and then I'm just going to bounce that on my face. This is what the kids call beating a face. Next I'm going to take Maybelline's Age Rewinder and I'm just going to put that under my eyes anywhere where I really want highlight. This is in the shade Fair. And just a little more setting spray on my beauty blender. And I'm just gonna bounce that in. Boom. Some air spun loose face powder and set that. And I just pick it up with my beauty blender. Some people use brushes. I just use my beauty blender. What they call baking your face. So baking is how long you're gonna leave this setting powder on your face. Some people just do a minute, some people do 30 minutes. It's just really how you want it to go. I'm typically a minute or two girl. To, right now I'm like 
after I do this, I usually do my brows. So I do my brows and then I'll wipe my face. Alright, it's been about two minutes, so I'm gonna take this wet and wild, nice big fluffy brush and just brush all this powder off my face that was in a mirror. <laughs> And now that we've taken care of all of that, we are going to work on our under eye. This e.l.f. eyeshadow brush because it's kind of flat and it's not too wide. Just enough and I'm going to go and do my under eye. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that dark brown shade which was Iwa Beach. And I'm just going to blend that in to about the edge of my eye itself. we'll go into the dark blue which was on chillin I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush and just kind of run it under there now because I have that pop of color up top I do like to bring that down in my looks so I'm gonna go ahead and grab lol I'm crying again and just lightly pop that underneath on the blue only. And I'll grab my crease brush again and grab some of the gums and that's that silvery color. And just add a little bit down at the bottom. So it gives me that nice icy look. I think Bretman, Bretman's uh, two palettes, Lit and Wet, are amazing. They have great pigment. I have no fallout. I don't even have to hit my brush on the end of it to get any of the loose powder off. I mean, these were really, really done well. So I wanna add a little bit of color back into my face. So I'm gonna grab my Kate palette here and I'm just gonna take this middle contouring shade and kind of brush that into my face. And I'm just using a no-named brand face bash. Bash Cosmetics. And that's a contour brush and I'm just gonna grab some of that and put that into my face. Make sure you go into your hairline. You want more of the pressure when you're pushing right here than you do here. You want that light and then more pressure right here into your hairline. And I take, like to take a lot right into my temple because if I were drawing a photo, there would be a shadow in the temple. And then I take it across my forehead, right into my hairline. And again into my other temple. And then right down into my jawbone. The same brush, I will go into the blush and just pop that on my cheekbone. I'm actually going to be using two highlighters today. They're both from Wet n Wild. On my cheeks, I'll be using this one right here. This one is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and the color is Crown of My Canopy. And then on my nose and my lip, I'll be going with the Mega Glow highlighting platinum bar and that sucker is bright so i really like crown of my canopy it's just like a really nice rose gold and we'll just pop that right in there i usually don't use my finger but i didn't want to waste that little swatch i was just showing you now just looking at my eyes i do want to like add a little bit of color um under my brow bone so I think I'm gonna go back into the wet palette and take Finished. It's that really white blue color. I'm just gonna take a flat end brush and just grab some of that and just pop that. And now I've officially dipped into one, two, three, four, five, six of the eight colors in this palette on one look. Go me. Highlighting one, and as you can see, I used I just really like it. I do a little bit on my nose here.
a little bit on the bridge of my nose. I try not to make it go crazy because I'm going to work. Right here on my lip. Now we have a little light on our face. Right, awesome. So now I'm gonna do my liner and my mascara and I'll be right back. All right, so I've added a wing, which I'm not great at still, but I'm practicing and it's not looking too bad. I added some mascara, no fake lashes today because I have to go to work and they're kind of a pain in the butt. And I used some lip scents in Praline Rose with some opal gloss on top. And that's my finished look. Thank you so much for getting ready with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was the first one. Maybe I can do another one and maybe I can be a little better at it. I don't know. If you enjoyed it, leave me a comment down below saying, hey girl. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my page and hit the bell at the top. You'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button for me. Until next time, guys. Bye.